everyone welcome to my channel Akuaba Weizong I hope you guys are doing great I just came back from work which is why I'm still in my suit but I just wanted to take about five minutes to make this video before I go any further congratulations to all the recent graduates you guys did it I am so proud of you this video is going to be helpful because this video is going to be about how to interview a few weeks ago my job my company was interviewing for a paralegal and it became very apparent to me that a lot of people did not know how to interview or the process or how to ace that interview so let's get started number one has to be about your resume I'm not going to take this time to talk about resume I can do a video later but your resume has to be up-to-date your resume has to be current your resume has to highlight the job that you're applying for your resume has to be truthful but most importantly in regards to length ideally your resume has to be one page or just one page if it has to be on two pages that's fine but you have to know to take a copy of your resume to the interview because some companies may not print two or three pages they may just have the first page a resume has to list from your most current job to the least in that order when you see the job description and it's a job you want your cover letter should pick point keywords in the job description so if the job description says we want someone who is going to be a team player pick those things from the job description and put it in your cover letter because those things will jump out to the person interviewing because the cover letter is the first thing they see before they look at your resume it's if you don't know the location of the interview and you have time a day before drive to the location to make sure you are familiar with the place to make sure you know how much time it's going to take you just so you're not late in traffic to make sure how much time you need to prepare to make sure if you have to walk on hills if you have to walk a hill or a slope you're wearing the right shoes the day before your interview Take some time to research about the company. Research the company, research who is going to be interviewing you. Or you can go to the interview with a lot of questions about the company to ask the people because that is going to impress them. One appearance, always overdress for interviews. Ideally, wear a suit. Black suit, gray suit are ideal. No matter what color you are, whether you're black, white, whatever ethnicity you are, you can never go wrong with a black brown or gray suit. Don't go and buy a brand new suit. Go to the thrift store, the Goodwill, the Salvation Army with $10. You can get a really nice suit and wear it for your interview. When it comes to makeup, ladies, minimum is possible. Don't go highlight, contour, unless you're applying for a job at Sephora, don't overdo your makeup. Your makeup has to be light, crisp as possible. Don't do something that is gonna be too extravagant. Once again, unless you're applying for a job at a wig store, don't make your head too big or too bam in your face because it's distracting if you know what i mean so your parents make sure you look good perfume when it comes to perfume please don't go bathe in a perfume seriously the person interviewing you might have allergies to the smell you bring in so deodorant is fine ideally don't wear perfume if you have to wear a perfume it has to be minimum jewelry keep it simple if you're married wear a wedding ring simple jewelry don't overdo it simple necklace don't overdo it the day off please never be late for your interview don't be late for your interview and don't be early if you are too early you're sitting there the person who is interviewing you sees you're sitting there now you are putting pressure on them to hurry up and interview you doesn't make sense so don't be too early for your interview the maximum time you need to be early for your interview is 5 to 10 to 15 minutes anything about 15 minutes sit in your car don't go into the interview place until at least 15 minutes don't be too early but i cannot express this enough do not be late for interview all my african subscribers no african time you have to be early for your job interview you have to be early for your job interview i cannot stress that enough if for the love of god you are going to be late for any reason email call let them know you're running late but come on be early for your job interview that's it when you show up the first things handshake when you are shaking hands your handshake has to be firm it has to be crisp and you have to make eye contact your eyes are the window to your soul it shows strength your eyes shows connection your eyes show confidence your eyes show truth 
So when you shake hands, be very firm, it shows confidence, make eye contact to be like, hey, I belong here, and your body language has to be very confident. Hi, Jackie Murphy, nice to meet you. You know what I mean? So be very confident. During the job interview, go with the cue. Don't over talk about yourself and don't under talk about your, and under talk yourself, if you know what I mean. If they ask you questions, be direct. Answer the questions truthfully, because if they ask you, hey, do you know how to use MS-222? You say yes, okay. You start your job, they give you MS-222, you have no idea what it is. You lied, and now your ass is gonna get fired. Finally, after your job interview, they should ask you, do you have any questions for us? Always say yes. Remember a day before, you did research on the company. So if they ask you if you have any questions for them, yeah, ask them questions. You know, how do you like working here? What, sh what should I expect in regards to the work environment? Ask them questions. Ask them individual questions too. If you did your homework and you researched the people on social media, on the website, and you learned something about the person interviewing you, and you learned a day before they like dogs, they like to go hunting, they like to go swimming, then you can ask them, Oh, I heard you like to go swimming. Where do you like to go? Oh, I heard you love dogs. What kind of dog do you have? Does it make sense? So ask them questions. Finally, always ask them, hey, what can I be doing to be getting ready for this job? Just in case you offer me this job, what should I be doing from now till I get a call from you to be doing better? Should I be reading on something? Should I be learning something? That is a question you should always ask because all of a sudden you impress them. Finally, after the job interview, get up. Thank you for interviewing me. Leave. But always go with a thank you card in your car. So once you get into your car, make sure you remember their names write a handwritten thank you card thank you for taking the time to interview me i'm looking forward to work for your company i think i'm going to be a great fit i cannot wait for the opportunity thank you jackie murphy mail it if it's a job that is going to take them a few weeks to choose the applicant mail it if it's a job that you think they're going to hire someone right away go into your car write a thank you card walk back and give it to the receptionist or the front desk to give it to them does it make sense do that However, if you cannot do a handwritten note, once you get into your car, email them. Dear Mr. Smith, thank you for taking the time to interview me. I'm looking forward to working for your company. I particularly like the fact that, and tell them something you remember from the interview in part, as part of your email. Take copies of your resume with you always. This is it. This is just a few tidbits in regards to interviewing. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, as always, leave them in the comment box below. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and I will talk to you soon. Happy interviewing, and I hope you get the job of your dreams. Bye-bye.